There's like a spider web and I don't know how to handle it. Ugh. Hey guys, Dion here with a very quick GHMV. I had some personal matters to deal with today. I'm frustrated. I'll spare you the details unless y'all want me to talk because would you guys watch some videos of me talking about life? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, suffice to say I can't do a full-on recap of the show this week, so instead I will give you my thoughts on GH in a rapid fire kind of way. Three, two, one, go. Brooklyn and Valentine's one night stand was super left field. Definitely not loving the fact that Nina was kind of jealous. Alexis's downward spiral is kind of fun to watch, but I do hope that the people that care about her rally to get her some help. Speaking of getting some help, last week I reacted to Luke's intervention episode, so check that out if you haven't already. Trina suddenly saying that she doesn't have feelings for Cam kind of hurts. I can't believe they're going with Joss and Cameron. Ugh. And by the way, Dev, I'm still mad at you for manipulating your friend. Shame on you, man. Nicholas finally admitting to Ava that he has feelings for her was kind of a relief. Until she didn't believe it. Not that I blame her, but you know, just give in. Just give in. Everyone in Port Charles suddenly shipping Michael and Willow is a bit of a stretch, I think. I mean, even Dante? Dante! I did think Michael and Dante's hug was cute, though. Team Chillo, all the way, baby! That reminds me, Chase is starting to suspect that something weird is going on in the PCBD when Jordan is quick to close the case on Jason's bike sabotage. Go Chase, you're doing well, sweetie! Don't get killed, though! Brando accepted Cyrus's offer to work for him. I still don't think this is gonna end well. Julian still refuses Cyrus's offer to buy out Charlie's, but honestly, I'm just waiting for him to cave because he always caves to blackmail eventually. Britt spent the week keeping a pretty solid poker face with Alexis, with Jax, and with Jordan. I still can't tell if Britt is just looking the other way or if she's genuinely being fooled by Cyrus. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. Jax and Sam gave Michael the position of CEO at Aurora. Thank you, show, for reminding me that Sam owned a business and has been avoiding it ever since Drew died. And thank you, show, for remembering that Drew Kane exists. And finally, Nina paying for Nell to have a gravestone is stupid, but not as stupid as Nell's arm reaching out of the soil to grab Carly, causing Carly to knock over the gravestone. Ooh, it was ridiculous. It was funny as shit, but it was ridiculous. Looks like Carly's going to take another trip to Shady Brook soon. Anyway, that that's it. I'm sorry that this video is so short, but if you want, we can talk more about General Hospital in the live chat or in the comments below. I love chatting with GH fans. Make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you guys later this week for a spooktacular reaction. Peace out. Let me hold it down. Let me hold it down. Let